Hello everyone, this is Yogesh Gupta and in this video I'll be showing you how to create an image slider for your website or web pages. So in order to create, I'll be using a framework called as Foundation 5 and you can download it, it from here. That is just a moment. Yeah, it's foundation.job.com and once you click on download foundation you will get three uh, types so i recommend you download the default.css and click on this now once you are downloaded you will get something like this tools so i recommend you copy the css uh, all the three folders except for index.html and discard that from here and copy everything uh, everything now since i have the image folder already in my php local directory i'll just copy the two items and paste it in the php server local htdocs and i'll paste it here so now we have our basic requirements ready now we can go to create the slideshow so for the slideshow first of all we'll need uh, and page html page or php page or any page so i'll I have already created the basic page for that so i'll recode it so as you can see it's the basic html page with nothing much on it so now i'll tell you what to do now the from the page where you downloaded the software go to the document section and click on css now in order to save save the time i'll be copy and pasting some code but i recommend you read each and everything so that uh, you will get the core idea of what and how this works so basically this documentation is very good and i recommend you to read it it gives you a th thorough knowledge of what are the contents and how you can modify them and so on so since in this video i don't have much time so i'll just be clear copying and pasting so I, first of all i'll go down in the css where from where the css i have clicked go a bit down and i'll see the code now just copy and paste the following code there from where they are approximately there so since in the head section we have three things so i just copied them and note that this copying may take some time so i'll pause the video for now the uh, setup is ready since i have copied and pasted the code where exactly they were like in head meta and so on so once i'm done with that now i'll go for the co part i'll create a div tag with a class called container which will be a container for my slideshow and I'll paste it there now once we are done with that now we'll scroll a bit up and in the media we'll go to orbit slider now basically this will give us the code for how to paste uh, regarding images and link them so i'll just paste in order to save time and change the images uh, path so in this i'll paste here now I, I since my images reside in image folder i'll be doing the necessary amendments so i'll pause the video for now all the necessary amendments i need to create uh, a css for the container tag that i have created this so i'll create a new css file and give it a class container and set the following properties width would be 800 pixels height would be like uh, 600 pixels note that since my images are all of the same resolution therefore i am giving this however this may change depending on the image size and how big you want your slider to be and also i want margin would be 0 pixel auto so that it be in center and margin top should be 1.5% and once i am done with that i'll save as style.css and the css folder so i'll import the same thing in my html file so yeah 
so I'll just copy the following code and paste it here yeah. and with the style.css style.css and save besides this I'll also save this and now we are ready to test our slideshow the process that I mentioned like whatever editing you have done based on the path of your images folder and we can see the slider like just a moment and a slider will look something like this with navigational styles uh, and the representation of images in numerical form as well as autoplay as well as uh, we have bullets navigation also if one wants to embed youtube video for example i'll show you a demo the video that we wish to embed on the image slider so i'll click on embed and copy the code for the this besides this i'll go to my html code where i actually have a uh, the last image I'll create a new listing item and I'll paste it there and I'll save it now once we are done with that we can have a look at it that we have all the images and also the video that we pasted in the last that is this video and we can play it <clears throat> so guys that's all for my videos if you have any doubts or comments please uh, report it in the comment section and i'll be glad to help you well that's all for today thank you